Welcome. In this article, we will walk you through the evolution of the Starship program an ambitious project by SpaceX. It is a fully reusable, two-stage to orbit super heavy lift launch vehicle under development since 2012 and designed to be a long-duration cargo and eventually passenger carrying spacecraft. The SpaceX called their first Starship prototype as Star Hopper. The Star Hopper had just one Raptor engine. On August 2019, the Star Hopper reached an altitude of approximately 150 meter and landed approximately 100 meter from the launch pad, demonstrating the first use of the Raptor engine in real flight. The MK1 and MK2 were early prototypes of the final design for Starship. However, MK2 development froze, and SpaceX went with developing MK3 and MK4. Elon Musk redesignated Starship MK3 prototype as Starship SN1, or serial number 1. On February 28, 2020, SpaceX conducted cryogenic pressurization tests on SN1, but failed due to lower tank thrust structure. The MK4 development eventually cancelled. On April 3, 2020, the Starship SN3 prototype destroyed during static fire test. The Starship SN4 prototype, however, passed critical cryogenic pressure test and static fire test for five times, which was incredible progress. But during final static fire test on May 29, 2020, SN4 exploded due to issues with ground support equipments. After successful static fire tests, the SN5 prototype flew to a height of 150 meters with single Raptor engine on August 4, 2020. The SN6 prototype 2 did similar flight test on September 3, 2020, and completed successfully, both SN5 and SN6 later scrapped. On 24 December 2020, the Starship SN8 did high-altitude test, but this time with three Raptor engines. As per SpaceX, the launch, ascent, reorientation, and controlled descent were successful, but due to an unplanned drop in pressure of a header tank, the SN8 landed at a higher speed than intended and exploded. On February 2, 2021, the SN9 high-altitude flight took place. Similar to SN8, the ascent, engine cutoffs, reorientation, and controlled descent were all stable, but during the landing, only one Raptor engine fired, causing the vehicle to lose control and crash into the landing pad. On March 4, 2021, Starship SN10 flight took place which resulted in a successful launch with ascent, engine cutoffs, flip maneuver and descent, flap control, landing burn, and land intact, after a high-altitude test. However, the vehicle had a hard landing, and it failed to deploy all of its landing legs during the landing burn causing a slight lean after landing. Although the vehicle remained intact, the impact crushed the legs and part of the leg skirt. Unfortunately, it exploded eight minutes after, due to a suspected methane leak. On March 30, 2021, Starship SN11 jumped to sky, the flight saw successful engine cutoffs, flip maneuver, flap control and descent. However, according to Elon Musk, one of the Raptor engines had issues during ascent and did not reach operating chamber pressure. Just after the landing burn started, SN11 lost telemetry at T plus 549 and experienced a disintegration. SN11 was then seen visually impacting the ground in multiple pieces shortly after the failure. Based on available information, the SpaceX has scrapped Starship SN12, SN13 and SN14. As per Elon Musk, the Starship SN15 prototypes comes with over 100 major improvement over SN8 to SN14. The Starship prototypes from SN15 to SN20 will be tested in future flight plans to mature the design for Starship, which will eventually set atop a super heavy booster. In fact, SpaceX currently has the ambitious goal of flying SN20 to orbit with super heavy booster BN3 sometime in 2021. Our best wishes to Elon Musk and SpaceX team on their dream of creating fully reusable, orbital rocket which one day going to provide interplanetary transportation system for human and cargo. Hope you enjoyed the article and thanks for watching. For many such interesting subjects in the future, please consider subscribing to our channel.